Welcome, Leo, to your mid-February reading. We are going to get into your past, present, and future and see what is coming in. What the heck happened? Okay. We have the star coming in in the reverse. We have the hangman. Ooh, two major arcanas. Ooh, and the, oh, the shadow. Wow, that's the devil there. And the dawn of cups. We have a very dark energy coming into the reading and there is a feeling of like someone like sold you a dream in a way, right? And now you're losing faith within this person. You have a change of perspective because you might be seeing through this shadow or this double like energy and seeing through their words now because the page of cups, it's a page, yes, but it has a big message. Um, this person could be lust, temporary infatuation. This could be someone who's creating, you know, f uh, future planning, creating illusions, selling you a dream in a way. And everything feels very promising and exciting. So I do feel like this person, you know, the reason why they're operating like this, because they have emotional deep issues and they're doing this for a personal, like for a personal gain, personal reasons. Yeah, but now you're a mystery to them. They're dark. They're dark. They have the, there's a full energy here. The challenge. Yeah, see, someone could be trying to appear more successful than they really are. They could, this is very deceitful. This is actually an energy that creates failure in their life because they're unstable and it's showing up that they're not clear on what they want. And with the page of swords, it feels like this person's like, oh, I'm truthful, I'm this, I'm that, blah, blah, blah. But really they lack focus. They're very dishonest, they're destructive. They, are, yeah, it's like a person wanting the truth or like cares about the truth, but they're the ones who's lying all the time. That's the person I feel you may have be dealing with. They're thinking about the seven of wands and the reason why, because they're confused. Someone is very confused and feeling cloudy. They're thinking, oh, they're feeling defensive or they have their guard up. And it's because they don't know what's going on. They're not clear on what's happening. So they could have their defenses up because <clears throat> you're seeing right through them. I fear in the near future, you probably took off or taking off from this energy and not talking to them anymore. Okay, it's like he went silent. Oh, wow. Big betrayal. Possibly other energies, but being true to yourself. This person doesn't seem like they take accountability for anything, or they do, but they like tiptoe around the truth or say everything but the truth. I don't know. It's like very, very confusing, sad energy here. Big betrayal, though. It's like with the Eight of Wands, there's like fast communication and then betrayal, a breakup, and then it feels just like very hurtful here. Let's see what this fool is. Temperance. Magician. Ooh, this person's acting. They're acting. Remember, you can't trust them, right? They're very deceitful. Um, I feel this person may be leaving the door open, but not making any moves. Wanting you to go through the door again, you know. I feel though they're patient to start a new beginning with you, uh, but they may be acting like it doesn't bother them. But this is a person who has questionable intentions and they're very trickery. Like, okay. Huh. Yeah, I feel like you went silent. You're seeing right through their their energy and they don't they don't take accountability. I feel like you had to it feels like an injustice. Yeah, and they're very impatient with that seven of wands. Mm. See, they're coming up as page energy when they communicate. 
it's like they tried to be like this king of pentacles like stable like they have their life together and all of this stuff but really they don't they fool people the devil or the shadow fools people it's about materialism and page of wands is someone who is a bit reckless and they are feeling very like they they create their own setbacks and their own illusions even in their life they start believing their own lies who is this yeah because they're in deep pain this person is covering up some wounds with maybe some unhealthy habits Yeah, I feel like they may be thinking you're moving on from them. That change is happening. Yeah, they're confused. This person could be a runner. They run back and forth to energies. I kind of want to see what this chariot is. Yeah, separation. I don't feel you're going back. Yeah, the spark is out. You're no longer motivated. This person turns you off now. They, yeah, they just turn you off. Yeah. It's like you're not going back there anymore. You were, that was stuck energy. Totally stuck energy. Uh, I do feel like they're leaving the door open though for you. Um, and you're coming up as the empress and the outcome, even though it's in the reverse. But I feel like it's stagnant because you're... It's like even thinking about this person drains your energy. Wow, crazy. <laughs> um, let's see what they're not telling you here. Please forgive me. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I'm overthinking everything. What will everyone else think? This person seems to be thinking about like more. They care about what other people think or something like that. I'm not sure, but it's a twin flame energy. So it could feel like very magnetized to this person, but becoming toxic. Like things are stuck for them. And I feel they're caring a lot here. And they're just so confused. Like this person doesn't know where they're going. But it does look like the devil and the shadow is very present. So this shadow could be taking over their life. It's crazy because they're still thinking about you. They're still connecting with you in some way. I don't want to know. I watch your social media. I save your texts and messages. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm so attracted to you. So they're watching you some way, somehow. They're watching you. Maybe that's why their energy is stuck. So you're like the upgrade. You're like everything that they're not. Could be in the shadow will get jealous and envy of that. Okay, because it is upright. So that's their shadow. That's like all the things that they just keep really deep down inside and don't even really fix. You know, they just mask it over like different personalities. This is a person that could mold probably to like different people's personalities. I'm just getting that for some reason. And I feel it's just a shadow, how they're faking it. You know, it's just like a fake energy. Let's see what their advice is. Concentrate on seeking the truth. Sorry, guys. I Things are in excess. Do good for the sake of doing good and don't expect. Beautiful. Do good for the sake of doing good and don't expect. <laughs> I like that one. Be persistent. Give without asking anything in return. And true love is a deep understanding of the needs of the person you love. Okay, beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards here. See what else Spirit has for you guys. Be humble. First quarter moon in Leo. Leo, you're coming up in your reading. Be humble. Full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve and detoxify. Full moon in Taurus. And then we'll grab a love message. I don't think this person like knows that you may have sacrificed them or surrendered them already. Oh my gosh, as I say that, surrender comes out. <laughs> At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Wow, strong message there. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Uh, Leo, I hope you enjoy this message. I hope it brought clarity. And if it did or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.